I think it's very important to address climate security risks as part of instability and fragility considerations globally today because we are seeing increasing floods, droughts, extreme weather events, uh, migration uh, of people across borders, uh, as well as sea level rise, and we're going to see increasing challenges globally. So we need to integrate our understanding of these risks into everything that we do from diplomacy, development, and defense. In diplomacy, we need to understand how this is changing, how we interact with countries. We need to address these risks at the highest diplomatic level. Following on from a successful agreement in Paris, we need to integrate these into our diplomatic practices worldwide. In development, we need to understand how climate risks from drought to floods are affecting the ability, the ability of people to grow and prosper uh, across the planet and to take steps to improve agriculture and particularly to reduce the risks of water scarcity and water shortage. Uh, finally, uh, in defense, we need to also to understand how these very same risks are increasing the demands for our military and other first responders to respond to emergency cases of natural disasters, whether it's typhoons um, in the Pacific or whether it's floods uh, in various places. And so we need to be able to get in front of these risks to prevent them and understand how they're changing the demand signal for our troops to have to deploy across the planet.